In this video we're going to quickly cover how to build dashboards with either Scoreboard or QuickScore. As you can see I've logged into the application and since this is an existing application I have my bookmarks on the left and my administrator message on the right. And as always in the upper left hand corner I have my module selector and I'm going to choose to create a dashboard. Since I've just logged in the first thing I'm shown is my organization tree and I'm going to choose an organization that doesn't yet have a dashboard. As you can see there are some dark blue bubbles those are the organizations that have dashboards already. An organization that doesn't have a dashboard will have a light gray bubble. When I choose that organization in the right hand pane I have the option of creating a new dashboard. I simply click that and give the new dashboard a name. Once I've named the dashboard, I'm now in dashboard edit mode. And as you can see, there's a toolbar at the top. The toolbar gives you a choice of creating WOBs. WOBs are dashboard objects. WOB stands for windowed object or web windowed object. These are objects that you put on your dashboard and they act just like slide objects when you're creating a slide presentation. The first type of WOB that you can choose is a speedometer or gauge WOB. This type of WOB allows you to choose to make a speedometer, a horizontal or bullet slider gauge, or a vertical bullet or slider gauge from any object that's in your scorecard. So if we choose speedometer for instance, and then we choose an object that's in your scorecard, like a KPI or performance measure, your WOB appears. WOBs are resizable in every direction. There are a number of options for what can be shown underneath the speedometer wob. So for instance you can show the organization, the score, and since this is a KPI or performance measure we can also show the actual value. And you can show the performance thresholds too, which are the points at which the wob changes color. The next kind of wob is a chart wob. Chart wobs start as a blank canvas and then you can choose your chart type. There are line charts, bar charts, stacked bar charts, and practically any kind of chart that you'd like. There's also a time range chart, so let's quickly cover time ranges. When you compare time ranges, you select your data, and it defaults to selecting this year versus last year. The range calendar defines what time period you're choosing from and the breakdown calendar shows the points that appear on your chart. So in this case we've chosen a yearly range calendar and we're showing monthly data. We chose one period earlier which refers to one year earlier. If we chose two periods earlier we'd now be shown 2008, 2009 and 2010. In any of our charts you have the option of choosing a trend line over time. When you choose a trend line over time, it will show you the linear trend graph relative to time. The next kind of wob is a scorecard object wob. Scorecard object wobs are used for making strategy maps and performance maps. To make strategy maps and performance maps, you need to have a library of background images. The way to create that library is fairly simple, but not intuitively obvious. If you go to Administration, you'll see that there's an image library there. You can browse to an image on your desktop, upload it, and then it will be available for you to make into a background image or an image warp. To get back into dashboard edit mode, right click and edit. If you're on a Mac, it's control click and edit. We can then add a background image, and in this case we'll use the four perspectives background image. The background image appears, and then you add your strategic objectives to create your strategy maps. Each one of your wobs will appear in the upper left hand corner, 
so that after you've clicked them all, you can easily rearrange them. Each one of your scorecard object wobs has a number of options. You can change the shape of the wob to a rectangle, an ellipse, you can change the font size, you can change where it drills to in the application, and you can also change the label. If you're doing a sales dashboard and you want to show the sales number, you can show the actual value as well. If you're doing a score dashboard, you can just show the score. You can also choose how it fills, between a gradient, or no fill at all if you're going to use the wob for data. To remove a background image, simply choose No Background Image from the drop-down list. If you do need to delete something, then you'll need to use this red icon here, rather than the delete button on your keyboard. This next kind of wob is a text wob. When you create a text wob, just choose the size of the font, choose whether you want it to be bold or italic, and then start typing. After you've finished typing, you can then resize the wob if needed, and you can place it wherever you'd like it to be. So we have one more wob, and that's the Gantt chart wob. When you click on your Gantt chart wob, you see your Gantt chart relative to the performance for that period. And now you can start adding other wobs. You may have noticed that my text wob has been hidden. To fix that, highlight the Gantt chart, click on the Arrange drop-down list, and then send the Gantt chart to the back. The text wob is now at the front. And that's it, that's all there is to making dashboards in the application. If you have any questions, please email us at support at Thanks and have a great day.